بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از دی سیکنڈ پارٹ آف سیپریٹلی ایکسائٹیڈ ڈی سی مشینس اینڈ ان دس پرائمرلی ویل بی سالونگ ایگزامپل اور ڈسکسنگ ایگزامپل سیون پوائنٹ ٹو وچ از سالو ان دا بک اینڈ ویل آلسو سالو پریکٹس پرابلم سیون پوائنٹ ٹو Okay, now let's uh, see some of the basics. The equation for the induced voltage in a DC machine when a speed is expressed in revolutions per minute is given by this formula. Ea is the induced voltage, K is some constant, phi is the flux and Nm is the revolution per minute. Now if the Uh, field current uh, is fixed then the flux in the machine will also be fixed and therefore this can be taken as fixed quantity that means Ea is proportional to Nm and so we can derive a relationship that Ea divided by Ea0 is equal to Nm divided by N0 where Ea and N0 they represent the reference voltage. So if you know the reference voltage and reference speed, then uh, we can find any speed for a given uh, induced voltage or we can find any induced voltage for a given speed. So with this background, now we'll solve the... Okay, <clears throat> now let's uh, discuss the example 7.2 solved in the book. Uh, We have to consider again the separately excited DC machine of example 7.1 with the field current maintained constant at the value that would produce a terminal voltage of 125 volt at a speed of 300 uh, revolutions per minute. Now this portion is slightly confusing that when we talk of terminal voltage we actually mean this voltage, terminal voltage, but it is clarified if you look at the um, question of 7.1 so we'll see that what we need to find is the machine is observed to be operating as a motor with a terminal voltage of 123 volt now it is operating as a motor so here a terminal voltage of 123 volt at a power of 21.9 kilowatt so power is this and we have to calculate the speed of the motor so speed Now, let's see what was question 7.1. A 25 kilowatt, 125 volt separately op operated DC machine operated at a constant speed of 300 revolutions per minute with a field, constant field current such that the open circuit armature voltage is 125 volt. So when we're talking about the circuit to be open circuit, Therefore, this is armature voltage and this is the terminal voltage and they will be same because there is no uh, output or no load connected. Anyway, now uh, this is the formula that we are going to use to calculate the speed. We discussed this in the previous slide. So this is the speed that we want to find out. N0 is the reference speed which is 300 in this case. We will take that as a reference speed. divided by Ea, the new um, uh, induced voltage and this is the reference voltage, induced voltage or reference voltage across the armature. So we'll take this to be the reference voltage. So these two are known. Now we have to first of all find out Ea from the circuit. So we know from the motor equation that Ea is terminal voltage minus the voltage drop across this IARA Vt is 123 and uh, to find this we need to find Ia first so how much is Ia now this we can find from the power so the input power is given 21.9 kilowatt this is the input power The terminal voltage is 123 volt, so we divide by that to find the current or the armature current. So this is 178 ampere. So now that we have found the armature current, 
we can find this voltage, voltage generated or back EMF EA. So let's plug in the values. 123 this volt, 178 is the current that we found multiplied by RA. That means EA is 119.4 volt. So the voltage, uh, new voltage is 119.4. So now if you plug in it here, we can find the value of the speed. So N and 0 EA, we found 119.4 from here. EA0, the reference voltage, 125. And 300 is the RPM. Therefore, the new RPM will be 2866 revolutions per minute. Now let's Okay, now let's uh, solve the practice problem. We have to again repeat example 7.2 only with the changes that now the machine is operating as a generator with a terminal voltage of 124 volt and the terminal power of 24 kilowatt. So the new things are, this is the terminal voltage, this is uh, the power and we'll take the reference from the previous example. So we'll use these formulas this is to calculate the speed where n0 is the reference speed which will take 3000 from the previous example example 7.2 and ea0 is the reference voltage which was 125 in the previous case now we need to find ea to find n for generator ea the generated voltage here will be more than 124, so it will be Vt plus I1, R1, the voltage drop here. Or we can say Ea minus this will be equal to Vt. So first of all, to find this, we know Vt is 124. Ia we don't know, so we have to find Ia. And as before, we'll find Ia or the um, uh, armature current from the power. So. <coughs> Ia can be written as input power divided by the terminal voltage, input power 24 kilo and divided by terminal voltage 124 volt. So this is the uh, current uh, Ia or armature current. And now let's find out the value of Ea from this formula. So Vt is 124 and IA RA is 193.54 multiplied by 002. So EA is 127.87 volt. And now we plug in the values here. So N is equal to N0 is 3000. This reference voltage was 125. The new EA is 127.87 and therefore the new revolution is 3068 revolutions per minute. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to find the speed of a motor and generator uh, if the terminal voltages and power are given. Thank you.